Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is VMware Certification VCP Data Center Virtualization Training Video and this is the 13th video of this series. In this video I am going to show you how to deploy virtual machine from template on VMware vSphere 6. So in last video we have created one template on our infrastructure. So let's verify our infrastructure demo uh, demo environment. So here he it is uh, the first machine is Win2K12 DC01 which is my Active Directory domain server here you can see I have created uh, I have installed my domain name is victorinfosol.com and I have installed Active Directory and DNS role on this server and the second server is my vCenter 6 server on which we I have installed vCenter uh, uh, 6 vSphere vCenter 6 and also I have installed VMware vSphere client and VMware web client these things and we have three ESX host ESX 0 1 2 and 3 and here you can verify ESX 1 and ESX 2 and ESX 3 all are connected with my and uh, uh, a data center a vCenter data center which is DC India you can see all the three ESX host here and the last one uh, Starwind uh, SAN I have installed a Starwind application on my physical machine you can verify here uh, I'm getting three lens from uh, my star Starwind virtual SAN on my all three ESX host so you can verify the ESX host too so let's do deploy a virtual machine from by using template so in last video we have created one template uh, so currently I am in host and cluster just go in inventory and we are not be able to see any virtual machine and template here because uh, basically template is, uh, is not going to uh, so and host and cluster so click on inventory and go VMs and templates so we don't have any virtual machine right now we have only one template here so deploy a machine by this template so if you right click on template which we have created in last video you can see the option here the first one is clone convert to virtual machine deploy virtual machine from this template so let's do this deploy virtual machine by using this template and we have to mm, name it win2k8 uh, you can say mem zero one server so click next and you need to select the ESX host you can see uh, it's like checking the compatibility and the operation is not allowed the current state of host might be the host have any issues so you can see the installation succeed on third machine on the ESX one and either you can go here and check why it's not second and third might be there were some hardware which is not added to like this machine if you go ahead and VMs and templates deploy a virtual machine deploy a virtual machine and select the compatible host type the name into k8 uh, to mem01 and select the compatible host validation success click next and now we have option to select the like a uh, target storage for uh, virtual hard drive so we have like LAN1 and LAN2 go and select the LAN1 validation success click next and now if you want to uh, customize any hardware you can do it from here either do not customize click next and here we have the hardware setting if you want to verify change any hardware you can go ahead and change the hardware setting from here and now seems everything okay and go ahead and deploy so you can see cloning virtual machine means is deploying virtual machine from this from this template and now it's started the process so copying virtual machine files so it will take some time depending on the speed of your uh, uh, data is to data store connectivity so I'm pausing the recording once the deployment is done we'll check further 
so here you can see uh, so cloning virtual machine is completed and now if you go here you are able to see the like machine configuration and just power on the machine after deployment basically uh, already initiated that's why it's giving message so here you can see the status has been changed and machine is powered on now so as uh, we have uh, run the sysprep before creating a template from virtual machine so it, it will like run the uh, run the machine after sysprep and will it will ask initial configuration for the machine but like resetting the password and basic configuration so just wait for a few seconds so now setup is installing devices as as told earlier it's running after running the sysprep it will initiate the operating system after the deployment so just wait for a few more seconds this will take the some time m might be depend on the speed of your computer but it's not take too long so set up windows click next so leave the product key I accept the license from click start and now Windows is finalizing your settings so now you have able to see your must user must be reset password so put the password which you want to set Oops. changing password your password has been changed click OK so now we have to verify uh, we are getting the changes which we have uh, like installed some features and MS office in our uh, template which we have created uh, virtual machine which we have converted to template and now we have to see the we have successfully deployment that uh, machine with that uh, template machine with a uh, like uh, desktop experience, Windows Server backup feature, and MS Office 2013 as well as. So just let me log into this machine. Preparing your desktop. So now you can see the machine specific information, such as our uh, computer name has been changed and you can see the time zone has been applied which we have configured in our mm, template and if you go here you can verify MS Office 2013 is also installed on machine and it's time to verify features no role has been installed on a feature we have like desktop experience and Windows Server backup feature has installed on this machine so good to go and now what we need to do you just need to uh, configure the uh, IP address as per your requirement and you need to rename the virtual machine that's all and you have all the configuration in place 2k8 r2 and 0 1 So this is all about the deployment of a virtual machine by using template. Now if you go to uh, administer uh, roles and template, you can see here uh, virtual machine and templates both are here. So, so this is all about deploying a, a virtual machine by using template in VMware 6. 
so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query query any question related to this please post me on my given mail id thank you once again bye bye